Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF, bringing you episode three of Let's Try Dark Tire. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, we are playing as a battle magus in Dark Tire. Um, rules of tavern brawling, no weapons, no armor, have a drink. Hmm. Welcome. Let's continue in our world, and let's go, son. We have a quest, I think. With Elzar here. Looks like we're right in the middle of the world. Currently in Swampstone. Oh, that's Swamp, that grayish-bluish stuff. Good to know. But, um... See if we can figure out what we're doing here. We were doing some inventory management. Here we go. Crazy Pete the Cleric says, And uh, don't give that job to anyone else. I want it. Common tongue. Elzar is no longer protected. Libraries are now offering heavy armor, berserker, and priest of all Father Odin skill books. Hmm. Oh, that's right. We did some, uh... Do I have the time to go to the store? We did some, uh, vault storage. And, okay, she's in. What is this? Find a job? Job listings. Oh, wait, I forgot something. So there's different things we can become. We have 20, 20 coins. It costs 10. Become a farmer, become a miner. So we can take different jobs and produce with them for a while. Interesting. Looks like we can become a magic user. Because we have an intelligence-based skill. Interesting. But right now... Uh, we're going to talk to... Well, let's see what exactly is going on. Um, where is our quest log? Do we have a quest log? I think we do. I just don't know how to view it. Let's see. Let's talk to her. If you wish to survive at your new career, you'll need to train up your skills to become stronger. Train? The city of Swampstone has a full skill training academy to support our new adventurers. Academy? Once you have earned some experience, you should visit the academy. Visit? It is located just east of the plaza. Don't forget to bring a bit of coin. Using a compass, look around X135, Y165. Goodbye. Okay, so we can make a compass a hotkey. I don't know if we need to do that just yet. But, um, you know, this is all very customizable. Okay, there's our quest, the skill academy, and there's an arrow. Interesting. Wish to travel to local cities by horse-drawn carriage. This is, a uh, North Trade Route. There's fast travel going on. There's a Phelan, mercenary peasant. Skill Academy, Road to Skill Academy. And here we are. The sign says magic skill training. You completed your quest? This must be the place. You found the trainers that Andra was telling you about. You earned 1,520 experience and one fame. Okay. Um, this sign says warrior skill training. Constitution skill. Rogue skill. Faith skill. We need down here magic skill. And I did do a little bit of this. But if we find our station... Battle Magus. There's someone here who can train us. 
um, because they have to be in the uh, position there. Target a skill training station and check its name to see which skill it trains. You must have the skill to use it. A trainer must also be standing just northwest of it for it to work. The trainer does not need to be an NPC, but does need to be in the nation that owns the station. You can also train jump and run skills with any station you can use. Of course, training isn't free. The gold you spend here will be added to the kingdom's bank. So if we go to battle, Magus, this is pretty neat. We can do base training of any of our attributes for coins and XP to spend. We can do skill training. Battle Magus. Battle of Swords Untrained. I'm not sure what that means. The trainer cannot increase your Battle of Swords anymore. Hmm. Other training. We can train an offensive stance, defense stance, damage stance, running, jumping. Attempt to join the class of magic user. So I'm not sure what all this means, but let's train a little running. 1 XP, 101 coins. Boom. So our running is 13% now. Um, increased damage stance. Can we do that? Damage stance is untrained. It took our money. Cannot increase your damage stance anymore. Oh, our rank is untrained. So I guess we have to find someone else for that to actually get the skill so we can train battle magus takes us to 13 percent i'm not sure what that accomplishes and then our stats um intelligence one xp 251 coins your base intelligence is now 26 that's our base um, how about a little bit of strength? Base strength is now 26. So I don't know really what else we could do except running. Attempt to join the class of magic user. Um, Elzar now holds the class of magic user. So I don't know if that was a good idea because, let's see, Battle Magus, 11%, shows our attack and defense, two empty skill slots, our run and jump, um, our resistance went up nicely. Let's see. Damage stance untrained one. We'll be 17 years old in two days. Let's earn two fame points. We're a commoner now. Is not using any. Oh, we do have an active spell, Bottle of Light. Level three, duration. Huh, that's still going on. Wow. It's a long duration. So that is active right now. Um, so that's all I want to train right now. What is that? An unopened bag. Zebra skin strong box with a tin lock protected by trade union merchants. Don't want to mess with that. Um, now holds the class of magic user. Inventory is completely full. Wow, we've got to go drop some more stuff at the storage. So we'll do that. So we know where to train at least. I don't know how to run. I don't know if I am running or if I'm just walking. There's a lot I don't know about this game. Oh, if we go to menu, action settings. Wait, menu, 
Control settings, how do we get into a stance? Enter attack stance, damage stance, V. Elzar assumes damage stance, so now we'll presumably do a little more damage with our attacking. Even though we're only level 1 untrained in it. Let's return to Andra. See if she has more quests for us. And actually we'll come here first and drop some stuff. Let's see. Common hoe we could probably drop. Common pickaxe. I don't know. Let's drop the sword scabbard. Oh, we have to go to the next page. Sword scabbard. Um, zebra skin leather helmet. Uh, common hand axe. Zone minded plate mail. Besigues. Potion of cure disease we'll put away. Gem of portal movement. Potion of Poison Antidote, Scroll of Remove Curse, Raw Rat Meat, The Lance of Duke Ashenstab, we'll put that away. Um, that's all we want to put away for now. So let's see if we can keep making sense out of this. It's a little pretty obscure and stuff, but very cool talk. Would you like to earn a bit of coin? I have a small task for you if you do. Coin? Yes, a few coins for your trouble. It is just a small task. Task? Mrs. Morndine fixes my dinner for me every day. Could you go get it for me? Get? Do you need another compass? I appreciate you getting my dinner for me. Getting? She leaves it on her table. Just pick it up and bring it back to me. Using a compass, look around 203-198. So actually, we have a quest marker that takes us there. So we'll go pick up her dinner. Just continue questing. I mean, it doesn't hurt to do whatever she offers. Oh, the sun up there kind of shows the time of day. That's pretty interesting. So I'd have to bust out my compass. Looks like we have to follow the railroad tracks. There is a working railroad too. But I noticed in the game, this is the farthest I got. Because I accidentally broke into this woman's house. And they all started attacking me and I couldn't figure out how to fix that. Road to Swampstone. Alright, let's go. East trade route. And there are monsters around this area. Let's cut through here. Ooh, a rock. Green rock nature. I wonder if we can take a pickaxe to that. Gather. Requires wielding a pickaxe. Auto gather. Okay, let's um. We can put the pickaxe on a hotkey. On oh, one battle of swords. Common pickaxe, there we go. Okay, so. What do I do? Press 6. Hmm. Get combat quick inventory shortcuts. So we have to be in combat. Oh, there we go. Common pickaxe. Your hands are full. Oh. 
Okay, so that's not going to work anyway. Let's just reset that. Combat action set. There might be a way to do it that I just don't know yet, but we have to come here and actually... Okay, let's do this. Let's switch to our bow and arrow. This is a little wonky, but... Remove the bow. Remove the quiver. And in this, put the common pickaxe. Gather. Elzar begins mining. Gains two stone. One bag of zodiacal green rock iron. One stone, it shows the health bar here. Doesn't hurt to mine, I guess. So we could turn this stone in for money if we become a miner. So might as well mine the stone. And there's food here, which looks like all oh, fern. We'll auto gather. Cool. Gravel. Switch back to our sword. And let's go down here and grab the uh the meal. Andre's dinner. What is this? Mercantile. Oh nice. We can do some trading. Who's that? Gerald Morndine. Well, let's go pick up the dinner. Mrs. Morndine smiles at you as you take Andrew's dinner bag from the table. Nice. And Mr. Morndine, I'll return the dinner. We can only have one quest at a time. So, let's do that. But, let's come into Mercantile here. Okay, these stores. This is a shop that buys and sells armor. Tradesmen will have to be standing just northwest of it for it to be open. Also, you can destroy an enemy shop with a siege hammer to release its inventory. That'd be a crime, though. This shop buys and sells jewelry. This shop buys and sells clothing. This one buys and sells weapons. All right, so let's go to armor. Sell. Okay, we can sell stuff. Um... Your plate boots. 503 common coins. Wow. With unknown properties. He's offering big money for all of that. Huh. I wonder how we identify it, though. Let's see what else we can sell here. The quiver and stuff. Jewelry. We have no jewelry to sell. Oh my gosh, look at this. They have all these stats. Oh, they cost way too much. That one only costs a thousand. Junk workmanship, though. Strength 20%, hammer 20%, two handed sword 20%. I might want to grab that. 1021. That's all our gold, though. And I think that you have to have the skill for it to really work right. Hmm. No way to identify the stuff though. So we need some sort of identification place. There's more mining. Green rocks. Let's see what he says before leaving here. Gerald Mondine. Mondine. I just despise Moonbloods. Hmm, but he's got a quest for us. When we return, we can return down here. Guess there's other stuff, but 
no signs, mostly mean these are peasant homes or whatever, different homes. There's a, oh, they're all green rocks. All right, cool. So let's return. I think the monsters mostly come out at night. If so, we'll be ready for them. We'll return her dinner, see what else go is going on. I don't know what that means. I don't know what button could run. Am I going the right way? I think so. R is rest. E. You will now speak Elvish language when you talk. Common tongue when you talk. Okay, you can change your language. We'll have to look at the buttons. Because that's pretty wild. You can do a lot in this game. South and East trade routes. There's also the dungeon. Dungeon Road is around here. So we've got to train our running more, and I've got to figure out how to run. Unless we're running already. Jump is a double, double tap in one direction, but... It says you need a jump skill to do a leap at all, and 120% to do it well, so... Alright, let's give her the... You completed your quest, and the city clerk takes her dinner. Here's a bit of coin for your trouble. 1520 XP, one fame, and a leather bag of coins. Nice, and she's got more for us. Coin purse, we can... Stuff all of our coins into it. Elzar's bag of coins. Let's see what else she's got first. And the city clerk says, A citizen reported losing something yesterday and is offering a reward for its return. Losing? The item is listed as stamp. Stamp. If you can find it, you'll be rewarded. Do you need a compass to help you in your quest? Find. Good luck, and a reward will be waiting if you find it. Using a compass, look around 174... 95. Oh, the compass gives the arrow up here, I see. Since we have a compass, it gives us the arrow. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Let's come here, and... Maybe, like... Baked blocks? Put them away for now. That must be the, the stone. Um, poison antidote. Zebra skin compass. Um, all this armor that needs to be identified. I wonder if we're hungry too. Bag of zodiacal. Green rock iron. Zodiacal Lantern and the Bottles of Lamp Oil. We'll put that away for now. Because we're not going into any dungeon at the moment. And that's all we'll do for right now. And let's go find this stamp. And let's check our character. See if he's hungry or what. Bane on the mercenary guard, NPC grabs you and says, Know your place, commoner. Hmm. He put us back here. The kingdom guard removes you from the area. Hmm. Okay. Um, let 
not hungry. 8% body fat stored. Strong link to the plane of death. Using damage stance. Casting at level 1. Currently speaking common. Okay. So we're not hungry and I guess you don't have to sleep either. Name. Selecting name format. Elzar. Elzar Ashenstav. Oh, cool. You can change it. Hmm. So, if he kicks me out of there... Oh, wait. No, we don't want to go in there. That's why. We want to go around. If we can. Who's that? Mercenary peasant? It's been hard finding work. What is this? Fine cloth, trade unit merc uh, merchants. Oh, my eyes are burning, guys. I gotta put in some, uh, I gotta take some nasal spray for allergies. Bear with me. We could sell the knit gloves for 503. Zombie britches for 251. They have unknown properties, though. I would like to have them identified if possible. Best deals here. Increased stamina. Increased health, blacksmithing axe. So we could buy different stuff. But no way to tell us what we are actually using. I wonder if there's some sort of magical shop that identifies these things. City weapons. Ooh. Now I wish I would have taken more of those weapons with me. That we had, uh back at the, the farm offering one common coin for the zombies arrows they must be the zombies arrows must be uh, cursed because everything else he's offering me 502, 500 low value 500 500, but then the zombie's arrows, one coin. We'll sell them. You no longer have zombie arrows. No worries, mate. Alright, let's continue. Is this a wall? It is a wall. So we've got to view some more houses and stuff, some more bu uh, buildings. Tin lock. What is this? Fine jewelry. Bit and dog merchant and coin exchange. What is this? We can sell armor. Ooh, the meat skillet. Oh, only one common coin. What about the other meat skillet? One common coin. So we'll sell one then. We can sell basically weapon and armor here. He's offering good coins for them. We should bring more of our stuff down here because he offers coins for a lot of things in coin exchange. Barbaraton, the mercenary tradesman, says, Do you need to exchange coins? You have 1,206. The kingdom's exchange fee is 50%. Minimum fee, one coin. To receive one elven coin will cost you two common coins. I don't know why we need elven coins, but I'm not going to do that right now. What is this up here? Private entrance. Fine jewelry. Private entrance. 
Hmm. There's a donation. Fine cloth. So come up this way. City armors. There's a whole city going on here. The Bag Company. The Bag Company. Bright Golden Dragon Barrel Company. What's the Bag Company? Can I go in? It's locked. Let's keep following this wall up here. Embassy of the Temple. Whoa. Whoa, who's that? The Zealot Templar. He's coming to attack me. Dang. Can I handle him? He's not doing a ton of damage, but he's doing some. Okay, he's... I don't think I could take this guy out. Ooh, I hit him pretty good there. Oh, he's almost dead. I can see his health right here. He's almost dead. One more shot. Got him! Loot fallen enemies. Loot. Oh my gosh. Leather bag of coins. Ruined imperial cape. Imperial plate helmet. And he's got ruined stuff. The ruined stuff we can sell. Nasty. It's now nighttime. We did that pretty easy, actually. Ah, uh, the shops are going to be closed, aren't they? The bright golden barrel. Oh, it's a... It's a tavern. Mercenary peasant, mercenary peasant. Trade union merchants. Stay away from the temple. But to get this stamp, we're going to have to get outside the city walls. City park. Wow. I want to go sell all this ruined gear, too. Keep coming north up here. to get out of here. It's now night. Hmm. Wonder if that Imperial helmet is any good. Let's remove the zealous scale mail coif. Our right, inventory's full. We have to wait for the day. And then sell the ruined gear all at once because there's a button for it. City park. Dressmaker. 
torn rabbit in. Let's find the stamp. I guess we can rest here. Okay, we're healthy and stuff. Drop our stance. Sounds like the guards are fighting enemies out here. Quirky Electric Ralph Tavern. Who is fighting in here? The Cell Sword. Mercenary Brawlers are on the ground. The Mage is on the ground. They're in the axe. Wow, there's jewelry on the ground. Something went on in here. There's a hireling board. You can have hirelings, I guess. Father Kiraline. Building bricks. Corpse of Rarame the Mage. Barbara Quella, the mercenary brawler. Order the Sneak from the Thieves Guild. Oh my gosh. Crazy. I could probably loot some of that stuff, but like I said, we're in our inventory's full, so. City Library. There's so much, guys. I have to not be overwhelmed and just casually enjoy it as we go. City Blacksmith, he'll probably craft higher. Oh, we can hire him to craft. Bottle of Imbue, receiving item. Oh, we can have him imbue something. Create, imbue, alchemy only, carve arrowhead, salvage item. Huh, craft recipe, we don't have any recipe though. Or resources, but we can buy blacksmithing, that's interesting. Blacksmithing training station. Wow, son. This is nuts. This is nuts. Library. Common Tower Shield. What NPC is that? Doesn't really say. I could have pressed character. Mercenary guard. What's this? Embassy of the church. We have to be careful of that. I think the church is okay. It's just the temple. The sewing needle. City Magic Study, that's probably where you get stuff identified at. City Fletcher. I want to hit like an armor station though. Or the armorer. I can't go through there. And there's a house here. What does Z do? Elzar drop stance. Gem cutter.
So by the time we find the armor or whatever, the sun will have risen. Hopefully. And we're back here. Cool. Kind of getting our bearings a little bit. So let's head back up this way. Don't go up to the palace or whatever it was, but come this way. This is so cool, guys. It's like exploring a crazy new CRPG that I've never seen before that has all the chunky features of something like Morrowind and maybe even more fine cloth as soon as the sun, sun comes up I want to be ready to grab the uh the sail there coin exchange fine jewelry City Armors was around here somewhere. I'm gonna light a smoke. We're probably actually over time here in terms of how long we've been playing. 41 minutes, yep. Have to wrap it here, dang. Well, this is gonna get good, guys, so I hope you'll stick with me as we explore this more together. I'm giddy. City Weapons. No, we want City Armor. I think it's over here. But yeah, I'm giddy. It's gonna be fun. Already is, so it's only gonna get better, guys. So I hope you'll stick with me. Next time we'll explore more. We'll dump all this ruined stuff and see what kind of coin we get for it. Um, our first taste of combat, very fun. Thank you for joining me though. I uh, hope you enjoyed, hope you're digging the Let's Try thus far. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> Live well, be well, stay well, guys. And much love, peace, and joy to all of you. Don't go anywhere. We are just getting started here, guys. Welcome. Catch you in the next one. Peace.